So hi, today we're talking on the project peer-to-peer -peer rendering slash computation by me, Akil and Silva Kumar, with a live demo. Um, in introduction, uh, this project is a simple peer-to-peer -peer system that provides possibilities for developers to run any distributed algorithm slash rendering tasks. This is done by virtualization and providing SSH access and doing other stuff like opening the number of ports a developer needs on any machine. But being a peer-to-peer -peer network, any machine can act as a client of a server. Um, the core features. Um, the main features are actually detecting other servers by hopping through the network. So having knowledge of one server, reading its IP table, finding the other IP addresses of servers, and traversing the network. It could be the hops can be set by the user, um, but default is three though. And based on that, downloading the part of the network and figuring out all the servers available in the network. And this, as you see, as you see later, this returns metrics like latency, which is useful to find out which server is close by. Um, another major feature is creating containers, um, removing containers in a single command. So creating at the, at the current implementation, we can create Docker containers and remove Docker containers using very simple CLI commands. Uh, because we're using Docker, we are able to access the GPU of the server's machine if the server wants to do so. Um, another major feature, another major feature or cool thing in terms of scalability is the entire application is a single binary file. So it's you don't need to have the entire source code to distribute it. You just need the binary file to be set up on the other machine. So that means the other machine does not need does not need to have the Go compiler to run every single time which is super useful. Um, let's, get, let's get to the live demo. So over here, I have a fresh terminal on my side. To set up the project, first ensure that you are inside the project directory itself. And to build the binary, all you have to do is make build. Or you can do go build dot, anything works. Um, if I do ls, you can see that I have my binary file over here. Peer to peer. There's all the builds before, but just to prove it works. This is our binary file here. So if I do slash peer to p dash dash dash, um, we can see all our commands over here, um, which we have access to and we can use. Um, something recommended to do is to go to the configuration file and set the appropriate paths for your Docker file, your IP table, and speed tests. Um, these are by default available in the project directory itself, but it's highly recommended that you put them in the etc directory or somewhere else in the machine. So if you're a contributor and you want to push code, you don't push your IP table as it's not needed. Um, that's another feature recommended to do so, but let's get back, let's back, get back to the, the live demo. Um, so for my demo, we can, we can do the command called list servers. This, um, shows us that we know one server for now in the network. So now let's say we want to know more about more servers. Based on, we, what we can do is download the IP table of this server and display the other appropriate servers. Doing this, if you do this operation three times, we call it three hops. Um, so if I do update server list over here and enter, It'll take a small while. It's um, it depends on the size of the the size of the IP table on the server side. It could in our case we're using a small one, so it's pretty instant the results. Um, this is our local machine, so this because our local machine is also acting as a server, so it's it's showing it as a part of the it's also showing it as a part of the server. Uh, this is the new IP address we downloaded from the server side. This guy, and let's say we want to know what computation power the server, which we have, the server IP address can provide us. We just have to do the flag dash dash specs, and we can just put the IP address over there, and it broadcasts the computation power of the server. Um, we're using Docker default settings in terms of CPU usage and GPU usage at the moment of time. Um, so we can also, to prove, so this server does not have a GPU, as you can see, it's null because it does not detect an NVIDIA SMI interface. Um, for our server, 
to prove that the GPU detection works, we can do dash dash specs. And let's do it our machine. Let's do it our local machine. So copy this IP address, enter. And we can see right here is our GPU version and all the appropriate GPU information over here. Um, okay, so that's done. Um, the next phase we're gonna do is try to create a virtual machine. Um, to do that, it's super straightforward and super simple. Just use the flag create VM with the IP address we want to use. So let's first do it with the remote machine with CPU only, and then we do with our machine with the GPU access. So over here, so wait one second. What I want to do is, another cool thing I can do is specify the number of ports I want to open. In this case, I want to open four TCP ports because let's say I have, I want to do four tasks which require, which means requires communication with some Ansible run or something of that sort. Uh, opening ports helps a lot. And as we can see here, it's already built our little Docker container and we have our ID, we have SSH port, VNC port. Uh, something cool is if you want to access it in terms of a desktop, like a desktop way, just copy this port over here. Um, let's go to my live dash, sorry about that. Live demo. Um, over here, let's actually use this IP address with the port number. Um, this guy right here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. It's connecting and we see the VNC password over here, which is our default password. So, VNC password and boom, we have access to our machine. Um, it's a Tomila emulator, we have, we can do whatever we want inside it and yeah, anything we want. And if you do NVIDIA, dash SMI, it does not work because we have opened it only using CPU mode and our server does not have a GPU. And we have the following ports here, which we have opened, which is super useful for doing certain operations. Um, so now let's try actually using a GPU in our local machine. So dash dash create VM. I know my, because I'm in my local machine, I can just put 0.0.0.0, .0, .0, .0, .0 and let me give the ports I want to give. I'll, also, I'll give five ports here, actually. Five TCP ports. And I'm going to use the flag dash dash GPU to open, to, yeah, to actually, so now let's, I want GPU access to my container. Do that, it takes a few seconds. And here we have, boom, we have our machine right here. This is still there if I refresh, it's not dead yet. Um, so let's actually, access my machine here. So here I do your point. Actually, there we go. And here we are inside. And if I do my terminal emulator, I can do NVIDIA SMI. And boom, we have our entire NVIDIA interface over here. That means so if you want to run any algorithm or deep learning, all you have to do is run some sort of Ansible to install your custom version of CUDA and boom, you can access the GPU directly because it copies the same GPU driver as the one available in my local machine to the Docker container. Um, so next up, let's see how do we kill a container. So it's also super easy. Um, dash dash ID, we want to, so no, first let's actually, we want to remove the VM of so it's locally for now, so let's do this. And dash dash ID. And the ID would be this guy right here, because it's a Docker ID. And I, just based on this, just give it a few seconds. Da, 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 da. And we're done, we removed it. If I refresh the page, can't access it anymore. And yep, yeah, that's, that's it for today's demo. Um, thanks for watching. See you guys.